Explorers sending lower back startling data to Earth. The Explorer 1, NASA's farthest voyaged space apparatus, continues to visit across revealed regions of the universe almost 50 years after its send-off. Researchers are bewildered by the startling realities that this popular region test system is sending back to Earth. State of the art, what has all the earmarks of being a glitch, is a piece of us as we impart around the impossible to miss records that the Explorer has been sending back to Earth during its source space investigation excursion. Researchers have been engaged in advanced investigations, roughly about the country's past since the Big Bang, and animated the delivery that cut the Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 among various region missions. Explorer 2 changed into really the first shuttle to launch, leaving from the NASA Kennedy Space Center on August 21, 1977. On September 5th of that same year, Explorer 1 was sent off two weeks later. However, how could they switch? As twins, the weight of both tests is 720 pounds, roughly comparable to a little vehicle. Both cutting-edge probes were launched through a long window that allowed for a current interesting external planet arrangement, causing a slingshot effect to send them the distance from one planet to another. They've, however, required to move at different paces and on various trajectories. On December 15, 1977, Explorer 1 was able to sidestep its indistinguishable twin. Since then, it has been our go-to AED for present-day various records in space. The first rocket to achieve that became this one when it began its Jovian imaging project in 1978. It became around 265 million kilometers from our planet and sent a colossal amount of present-day depictions back to us. Explorer 1 finished a wonderful 108-hour spell starting in January 1979, during which it captured 3,750 photos of Jupiter's rotation to create a time-lapse film showing 10 frames of the planet turning. It had gone through the Jovian moon system in February 1979, and after a month, it had found the little rings surrounding Jupiter. Explorer 1 likewise made an extraordinary revelation while it found new moons, named Phoebe and Métis. Exact moves could be made to ensure that the space apparatus was prepared for its flyby of Saturn and to prevent an expected crash with Titan, one of Saturn's moons. Journey 1 also found four other moons during the Saturn orbit, comprising Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Dion. Researchers chose to stop the Explorer planetary mission after the Saturn mission was completed and sent both Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 out into the solar system at a speed of 325 million miles per year. In January 1990, the pristine mission, officially known as the Explorer Interstellar Mission, began. The most generally notable images and records depicting the solar system and the planets have been taken through Explorer 1 on February 14, 1990, even as it became 6 billion kilometers from the Sun. They noted, as the solar probe, the present picture consisted of 60 total images taken via Explorer 1, bringing the full wide assortment of pictures taken through the space apparatus to 670. Despite the reality that Mercury and Mars can't be visible in the photos for various reasons, in the end, the space apparatus cameras were turned down to save energy and memory before its excursion to interstellar space. Moreover, to the interstellar tests Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, NASA also operates the Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons probes. Passing via Pioneer 10 on February 17, 1998, Pioneer 10 became the uttermost space apparatus Explorer 1, had reached during its journey for a similar 14 years before it finally entered the interstellar environment on August 25, 2012, with practically no other space tests in sight to find. However, NASA didn't publicly announce the achievement until 2013. We could visit November 2018. Each space test has officially left the solar system, while Explorer 2 crossed the heliopause and entered the interstellar medium. Explorer 1 is thought to be 14.5 billion miles or 550 times from Earth. It has endured to give us fundamental records that no other space test missions have been able to do. Uncovering since it entered the unseen region past our solar system, the spacecraft has spent the greater part of its 45-year experience in space in great health. Anyway, lately, experts have decided a couple of strange oddities in its presentation. Explorer 1 is by and large sending mysterious signals back to Earth, giving the impression that its far-off location is very uncertain. There is a frightening bend to the data, despite the fact that, ordinarily, researchers have pre-programmed Explorer to enter safe mode or sound an alarm in the event that it becomes lost in space. 
However, up till now, it has not. Additionally, its radio antenna, which sends information back to Earth, seems to be in excellent working order. However, the insights it has right now been communicating are dubious. The interstellar probe is operating, taking orders from Earth and executing them as well as gathering and communicating scientific insights. However, readouts from the test's explanation and control system do not precisely reflect what's taking place inside. As per NASA authorities, what precisely is occurring? Then, every rocket that is going into interstellar space, including the Explorer 1 and 2, has an exceptional 12-inch gold-plated disc that is stacked with sound and video messages as a backup in case an extraterrestrial species finds the craft. 35 Earth noises, 115 live pictures, an hour and a half of contemporary Western music, and good tidings from former U.S. President Jimmy Carter and former U.N. Secretary General Kurt Waldheim are only a couple of the items on the space DVD. Additionally, they're kept in 55 particular dialects, so assuming it was taken over by extraterrestrials, they would conceivably be attempting to decipher the signals. Mind you, that the spaceship is currently under the control of extraterrestrials has been quickly denied by scientists. Explorer's capacity to include relies heavily upon the antenna and communication control system. For starters, it continually keeps its receiving antenna focused on Earth so that researchers can solidly get data. Besides, it controls how the spacecraft is situated. Engineers keeping an eye fixed on the situation now experience that the probe is working as it should, which only adds to the puzzle we currently face. Besides, none of the safety features intended to shield the rocket from risks had been activated. According to Susan DoD Task Boss for Explorer 1, a mystery like this is standard for the course at this stage of the Explorer adventure. The spacecraft is both around 45 years old, which is a bit much older than what was conceived within the mission plan. This also recognizes that the rocket's engineering team will experience some standard-sized troubles in settling the bother with Explorer 1. The distance among us and the space test is significant. The challenges are strikingly pristine. The spacecraft is around 14.5 billion miles from Earth. This sizable distance presents a few difficulties that the gathering must explore cautiously. A salvage operation is almost impractical given the current mechanical and logistical requirements. Explorer 1 is a long way past the scope of any spacecraft or fixed project that we could possibly deliver. The rocket's exceptional journey has brought it into the furthest regions of our solar system and then some into interstellar space, wherein it continues to travel. Also distant from us, each day, messages received from Earth at the speed of light take almost 21 hours to reach Explorer 1's advanced location. Any order or processing sent by the engineering team requires a full 42 hours to be received by the rocket. This delay represents a gigantic task for real-time troubleshooting and investigating. In addition, when Explorer 1 processes an order, any response or data it sends back to Earth will take another 21 hours to return. This means that two-way communication between Earth and the spacecraft takes an average of two days. This kind of delay makes it exceptionally difficult to execute short fixes or iterative troubleshooting methods that are crucial when dealing with complex technical issues. The engineering team needs to meticulously plan and execute each order, expecting different possibilities and expected results. Unlike missions on Earth, where engineers can quickly send and receive instructions, the extended verbal exchange delay requires a more strategic and efficient approach. Every arrangement must be carefully developed to resolve the perceived issues without causing more problems. Considering the prolonged time it will take to confirm whether the order had the desired effect, the extensive communication delay also implies that the engineering team has limited opportunities to connect with the rocket. Each order sent should be effective and precise, leaving no room for mistakes. This requires great attention to detail and validation of commands on Earth before they're communicated to Explorer 1. Notwithstanding those logistical challenges, the actual rocket is now over 40 years old, having been sent off in 1977. The age of the systems, however, does not take into account current requirements. The engineering team needs to work with systems and designs that were planned and developed in the 70s, which adds another layer of complexity to the troubleshooting process. The harsh environmental factors of space have also taken a toll on the spacecraft systems. Explorer 1 has been exposed to significant radiation, extreme temperatures, and micrometeoroids for more than 45 years. 
These factors contribute to the wear and tear and degradation of its parts, making it considerably more difficult to maintain and repair. Despite these obstacles, the engineering team remains committed to resolving the current issues. They're investigating various theories about what is likely causing the oddities and evaluating potential responses through simulations on Earth. This careful and deliberate approach is crucial, given the stakes involved. Any erroneous order could certainly worsen the situation or lead to a loss of communication with the spacecraft. The team is also utilizing the redundancy built into Explorer 1's designs, like many other space missions. Explorer 1 was designed with backup systems to enhance its resilience to failures. The engineering team can switch to those backup systems to restore normal operations if they confirm that a critical component is failing. In summary, at the same time as the challenges in diagnosing and resolving the issues with Explorer 1 are immense, the engineering team is using their extensive experience and the spacecraft's inherent flexibility to deal with the problems. Their careful and patient approach is crucial in managing the lengthy communication delays and the complexities involved in working with a spacecraft that is both relatively remote and significantly older. Regardless of the odds, their efforts point to continuing Explorer 1's legacy of investigation and scientific discovery far beyond its original mission boundaries. The breakdowns may be the result of cosmic rays affecting the rocket's delicate electrical systems. These high-energy particles, originating from distant supernovae or other astronomical events, travel through space at nearly the speed of light. After they strike the Explorer, they can enter its exterior and affect internal electronic parts. The longer the spacecraft is in space, the greater the likelihood that cosmic rays will impact its systems. Over time, this phenomenon can lead to sporadic glitches like the ones currently found in Explorer 1's telemetry data. Specialists have long been aware of the potential risk cosmic rays pose to spacecraft electronics and human adventurers, but the degree of their impact may be difficult to predict or mitigate. Despite these challenges, engineers have applied various methods to shield spacecraft from cosmic rays, including protective shielding, designing redundant systems, and using error-correcting codes in data transmission. However, despite these precautions, cosmic rays can still pose a danger, particularly to spacecraft operating in deep space for extended durations, as is the case with Explorer 1. While the recent anomalies in Explorer 1's data are not entirely unexpected, they are perplexing, given the spacecraft's age and its prolonged exposure to cosmic rays. Scientists and researchers remain keen to monitor the situation and analyze the data received from Explorer 1. They're rushing to determine the root cause of the anomalies and to develop strategies for mitigating their effects on the spacecraft's operations. In spite of those demanding circumstances, Explorer 1 has far exceeded its original mission expectations and continues to provide significant insights into the outer regions of our solar system and beyond. Its accomplishments are a testament to humanity's enduring curiosity and determination to explore the unknown realms of space as we look to the future. Missions like Explorer 1 will serve to inspire and expand our understanding of the universe.